Bro, why are you light-skinned? Why are you so damn stupid? Why are you three feet tall? Why are all your transformations just shitty recolors? Why are you just a shitty recolor? Why was your animation trash for the first 60 episodes? Why did you get canceled after 60 episodes? So you slept with my wife? Yeah, so? So? That's what I said. You. Nah, I'm just kidding. You don't care that your wife slept with another man? Technically, you're me, and I don't even kiss Chi-Chi, so I don't care. She also said that I have a higher power level than you. I'll kill you both. I can't believe Super made me so stupid. I know what a kiss is. Okay, Super Goku don't do foreplay. When it comes to clapping, I get straight to the action. Mm -mm -mm. You don't deserve to have a family. Didn't you give Cell a sense of being before he fought your 11-year-old son? Well, technically, but... Aren't you the same guy that left your family for 10 years to train an Indian boy that you met 20 minutes ago? I wouldn't put it like that. Didn't you smack your wife through the side of her own house into a mountain? <laughs> wow, you're so small now. Huh, <laughs> it's okay. I'm still packing. Ew, gross. You're like five years old. I mean, I'm still packing strength, you idiot. I got a new form. A new form? You must be pretty strong. Show me. Let's go! So wait, we're not actually human? We're these monkey people called Saiyans that have become gods now? Yes, sir. You want to see what a Saiyan god looks like? Of course I do. That is so cool. Eh, it's all right. Wow, you look just like me. I know, it's so weird. Do you like fighting strong guys too? I would have fight them all. Do you get a power boost when Krillin gets his ass beat? That's how I get all my power boosts. Did you ever get any marriage from Chi Chi? Yeah, but it turns out it's not actually food. It's just love and care and a house and kids and loyalty for the rest of my life. Wow, that sucks. What's your favorite food? Everything. Wait, you are fighting the strongest warriors in the universe and you didn't die? Actually, yeah. I think this is the first Dragon Ball series that I didn't die in yet. Wow, I think you're right. We haven't gotten smoke since the Boo Saga. Would you like me to change that, Baldy? I don't think so, Frieza! Sorry, you can take it from here. When did I get so tan and change my outfit? Around the same time that your body was hijacked by a god, you filthy, insignificant mortal. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm a man. Don't you dare touch me. Now, as I was saying, you filthy. Are you strong? Didn't you just hear me say that I am a god? Yes, I am strong. Now silence, you insufferable ape. What's your favorite food? <laughs> your plot armor is no match for my divine. That was fun. <laughs> Hi, Toriyama. I was just wondering if maybe you could give my friends some more screen time. I feel kind of bad always hogging the spotlight. Actually, I was thinking more like Tien. He hasn't done anything in a while. How about Goten and Trunks? What about Manjin Buu? Um, how about Yamcha? Oh my god, you mean there's even more Super Saiyan transformations that I didn't know about? Indeed, we call this one Super Saiyan 4. Okay, well, you're gonna teach me that right now so I can beat both of your asses with it. Watch your mouth! I'm not teaching you little brats anything. Hold on, Vegeta. Don't you want to see how strong they could get? No, Kakarot. They haven't earned the right to go Super Saiyan 4. I mean, you used Bulma's machine. Technically, you didn't earn it either. Whose side are you on, clown? So are you two wimps going to teach us Super Saiyan 4 or not? I already said no, and I don't like to repeat myself. Get out of my face. Come on, Vegeta. Think of how strong they'd become if we taught them. We'd have two new sparring partners. I don't give a damn. They're not worth my time. Maybe if it was Cab, I would, but... Okay, how about this? Our fusion against your fusion. And if we win, then you have to teach us. Unless the Prince of All Foreheads is too much of a bitch. Who's a bitch? Wow, so this is what a few Super Saiyan 4 looks like? Badass. Don't tell me you're having second thoughts. This was your idea. 
Of course I'm not having second thoughts. I'm gonna whoop your ass right now so I can learn to do that too. We didn't even need to fuse the beat your ass. This is basically just bullying at this point. Boy, this is big Kefla. I've never been bullied in my life. Come do your worst, Ariana Grande. Big Bang Kamehameha! Wow, it's like a me from Oopa's Village. Actually, I was training in Oob's Village. Who is that? You'll figure out when you're older. What do you mean older? Aren't you a kid just like me? We're the same size. It's a long story, but I'm actually a grandpa in a kid's body. Really? Yep. Wanna see something cool? Wow, that's amazing. Let's fight to see how strong you really are. Oops, looks like I took it too far. Guess I gotta go gather the Dragon Balls and- Wow, you are strong! What the fu- Wait, how did you learn Super Saiyan 4? I didn't even teach you that technique. Plot armor. Well, shoulda figured. Might as well test out your power level. Why don't you test them over here, Kakarot? Wait, Kid Vegeta, how did you go Super Saiyan 4? I decided to take him under my wing so he could challenge you. Huh, that's funny. I learned Super Saiyan 4 all on my own. Well, I did it without plot armor, you low-class wimp. Who's the angry kid with the giant forehead? That's Vegeta. Get used to him now. Wow, they're really going at it. Who do you think's gonna win? It's a prince versus a clown. The answer should be obvious. Okay, Vegeta. Wait, why did they stop fighting? What the hell? When did y'all learn fusion? We've been training together for weeks. This whole fight was just an excuse to get you two old heads together so we could beat y'all's ass. But I thought you didn't even know each other. If you can't figure it out on your own, we were lying, you idiot. Huh, <laughs> as if you Rugrats are even ready to fight the Prince of All Saiyans. You better run home, little boy. That's exactly what I expect to hear from two old, washed up, past their prime punk bitches. <laughs> Who's a bitch? As much as I usually hate these recolors, I must admit, I do look good in red. For me, I think I prefer the Ultra Instinct look, but this is pretty cool. This is the drippiest form in Vegeta history. My transformation in the Broly movie was legendary. My transformation was pretty cool too. Not as cool as mine, stay in your lane. I agree, it was a marvelous transformation. The animation in that movie was fit for a prince. I think it's really cool that even though we're from different shows, y'all can drop the beef and admit when we do something right. Yeah, maybe we can finally all stop fighting and just get along. I agree, it's time to put the past in the past. I agree as well. Super Saiyan 4 transformation was still better though. Now listen I here, you little bitch. Out of you. This has to be the most mediocre transformation of them all. It's just Super Saiyan with blue hair dye. I mean, Super Saiyan God was just red hair dye, and you like that one just fine. Because Su Wu, bitch, it's blood gang till I die. We were born in the suburbs of Planet Vegeta as royalty. Stop trying to act like you're from the hood. He's been listening to way too much, young boy. No, I'm standing on business, something you Fruity Pebbles wouldn't understand. We don't have to keep changing our hair color to whoop ass. You're talking like you could whoop our ass. Huh, come and prove it. It would be my pleasure. Let us blossom and let us sing out the song of love and... <laughs> Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego. Am I supposed to be scared of these recolors? Huh! <laughs> We've entered the realm of the gods while you have remained mere Saiyans. Stay mad, GT. Entered the realm of the gods and almost got smoked by an ordinary ray gun. I'm not impressed. Aren't you the same guy that got his hand cut open by some glass? I'll cut your stomach open with a dragon fist you keep talking like that. You won't even be able to touch me, you damn furry. Furries? Now those are fighting words. Bring it on, we've got plenty of time to whoop your ass. Why, hello, Saiyans, I've got cut ramen done. Who's hungry? We'll finish this fight later. Kakarot, I just want you to know that we're so proud of the Saiyan that you turned out to be. We knew when we sent you off in that space pod that you'd be special. Keep making your mom proud, son. Thanks, guys, but it's no big deal, really. I just like to fight strong people. Avenging our race and defeating Freeze is no big deal. You're too humble, Kakarot. That's amazing. I mean, it's all right, but I've been doing a lot of cool shit with my life, too. Can you blow up a planet? No. Can you go Super Saiyan? No. Can you beat Frieza? No. Have you trained with any gods? No. Then shut up and help us glaze your brother.
Is that Ultra Instinct? I believe so, my counterpart. Boy, these mortals know how to piss me off. It was bad enough when they were doing things that gods can do. Now they're doing things that most gods can't do? Yeah, we gotta like that. Not only did Kakarot achieve Ultra Instinct, but I, the Prince of All Saiyans, Vegeta, achieved Ultra Ego. How could any mortal achieve Ultra Instinct with such ease? It's astounding. Ultra Instinct is so beautiful, even on a filthy mortal. Don't ignore me! I said that I had a new form as well! Goku is the only mortal that could have achieved this level of strength. He truly is remarkable. I'm remarkable too! That's why I stole Goku's body. He puts all these other mortals to shame. Final Flash! I hit them with that final flash point blank. How did they survive? One, I'm immortal, dickhead! Two, let's be real, Vegeta, that shit never works. They're kind of spitting facts, Vegeta. Shut the hell up, Kakarot! Look, he's so intimidated by our divinity that he's turned against his partner instead. Crabs in a barrel, you hate to see it. That's why you don't have Ultra Instinct or Ultra Ego. You're just mad because we're better at being gods ah. than you. Tell me he did not just say that. Hey, you sound like Booker T. I used to love that guy. <laughs> You will pay for your insolence! Alright! Me and my Goku are the happiest and best couple in all of Dragon Ball. That's why we got married first. Right, Goku? Uh, yeah, Chi-Chi. Whatever you say. Stop the cap, Kakarot. Not only am I the superior warrior, but I have the superior relationship as well. Didn't you watch Dr. Jiro try to kill your wife and son and do nothing about it? Didn't you abandon your family for seven years? Didn't Yamcha hit it first? Um, f you. I can't relate. Nobody's ever touched my girl but me. Gohan, we all saw Spopovich blow her back out in the tournament. Shut up, you cuck. Um, f you. I guess you other couples aren't as great as you think. I risked the entire earth for my wife. That's because you're a horny simp who doesn't wear the pants in his own relationship. What do you mean? Of course I wear the pants. I'm a man, damn it. Shut the f*** up, Krillin. Yes, daddy. Not only am I the prince of all Saiyans, but I'm the best father in Dragon Ball. Best is a strong term. You physically assaulted your teenage son just so you could fight Perfect Cell, and then you got folded for it. And then I made up for it by attacking Cell when he killed Trunks. At least I didn't give him a sensu bean. Okay, and I made up for my mistake whenever I died for Gohan. I died for my son too, you're not special. And my sacrifice was way more significant. Yeah, because it was the first time that you hugged your son in eight years. I never got a hug. Different timelines, brats. Look, both of you have made plenty of mistakes and neither one of you are going to win Father of the Year. But we all still love you. Isn't that what's important at the end of the day? I oh, mean, I I'm guess, still better, you but yeah, so. you're I mean, right. No, fuck that. I trained all y'all kids. If anybody's winning Father of the Year for the Saiyan race, it's Piccolo. <laughs> Ba 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 